Tom heeft mij iets uh, geweldigs beloofd. Een kleurtje in mijn haar wat uit te wassen is. Ja, ja, ja. <laughs> en uh, ik wil graag een wat, uh, wat pittig kort kapsel hebben. En met dat, uh, die lokkerige en die lange haren een beetje zat. Ja. Dus ik heb hem een... Uh, Uitgezonderd van rare sterretjes in mijn nek ja, en, en, en dat soort dingen. Dat <laughs> Mag die zich hangen? Oké. Okay. Nee, en wordt... iets aan mijn lange oren. Ja, ja dat wordt een beetje langer aan de zijde. Ja. Wil je een rondje draaien? Ja. Lisa is uh, modeling again. She came at the salon to come for a total new hairstyle. So I asked her to do this as a model because she already modeled for me. She gets a collar that can be rinsed out very easy, but also last for a longer time than normal. So I'm going to show you a new product. I may not <laughs> make it too short, but also she wants to get rid of the longness of this hair. I know there's a lot of you thinking it's wonderful, but she likes to have something else. So I have a free hand in that. Let's start on Lisa. Hello friends on YouTube. Lisa is back to get a new hairstyle. Now I start of course with uh, protection. Get her a beautiful turquoise cape. Oh, knaller. Voel je dat? Ja, ik voel het. I'm getting electric into the sun, so it's a bit dry, I think. Use, of course, the neck paper. Now, the only thing she don't want is to get the ears totally free, because that would be too short. But that's the only thing I have to remember. For the rest, I have a free hand. They'll make a beautiful hairstyle. I'm going to use uh, the hot razor of Ergo because that's the best tool to use. And I can really shape with it. So that's why I love to have it. <laughs> For those who don't have a hot razor, it's the most wonderful tool to work with. www.askergo.com Start by wetting the hair. Bril mag zo wel. Oh, you have to put it on the other side. You have to put it on the other side. I'm first going to watch what the hairs do, and what I can do and not can do. And I think I will make her a beautiful pixie. Wow. So, and Because I work with a hot tool and with an eraser, she can always turn it around when it's getting longer and throw it to the back again. But I think I'm going to work with a nice fringe and nice playful lines. I see under this hair, <laughs> I see, starting at the front, watch through the hairs, get in with my hot eraser. This razor is 190 degrees Celsius, so it's a hot tool. But the beautiful thing is of the razor, it seals the ends, so she never gets irritation on the skin by the hairs, because the ends are yeah, wonderful soft. Take it over to the other side. Still watching through the hairs. Always remember that the hair is still a little bit wet, so you go a little bit higher up. So now I've already the fringe. Go on top to create the length I want. Part myself the fringe again. Leave about a centimeter to uh, leave two centimeters hair of the fringe on the forehead, take the hairs up, take them high up, go in with my thumb, and because the hair is a little bit moist, I never burn my fingers. So I also can cut with this. This will work out till I get on the center of the crown area, so I have also around the head, a base length. Show you this also from the side, how I do this. The 
take the hairs up, lift them up, take my thumb, and because you do it with a knife, you never get hard lines. Work till the cat on the fall of the skull, leave it to the front. Then I go back to the line of the fridge, take the hairs up, lift them up, and connect the lines. It's not much, just a little bit you can see this, but it's enough to do. So now I have a playful effect at the front and already a different hairstyle. Go work to the front. Now I'm going to switch over to the other directions. So I start on the line, off the center line. Lay the hairs to the front, take them up, lay them in the line of cutting, and then go in from the back, controlling the shapes of the skull, knowing that you don't like short hair on the ears. So pulling back and then lay it on the line of cutting. This way I can turn the hairs around because she wears it for a long time to the back. And watch also to the lines of the skull. So when I do this, for example, I watch at the chin lines, but also watch at the underlines of the, the eyes, the nose, the mouth. There is always a connection to find. Go to the same line and then I turn it around. I'm gonna show you this also. So when I come Behind the ear, I turn my lights also to the back. Now Lisa has very thick hair, so I can work with the tip of my knife and give it some effect. So coming on the ears, take the hairs up, bend them into the fall I like to create, and work them out in that way. So take them up, bend them, lay them into the fall. And create yourself the fall of the hairs. So now I know that I have hair enough on the ears, go in the underlines, correct them. Then I come at the parts behind the ear. First set in an effect. I want to get some air into it so I get the nice fluid lines. Then take the hairs to the front. And like I did on the front, but now the other way around, I lay the hairs into the beautiful shapes of a skull. Knowing that on the ears it may not be too short, but also be aware that the tool is 190 degrees Celsius, and ears don't like that. <laughs> she does, but uh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> 
Now you see that it gets that new shape. And the beautiful thing of this tool is it travels very lightly through this. You don't have to do anything. This is because the heat of the blades travels nicely to the hairs. Again, go working on the roundings of the skull. Lifting up, turning. Always remember that the lines are also there, visible. You can see where you're going. So now I go to the back. So watch at the lines of a skull, watch at the natural fall. Now you see here the hairs turn a little bit more to the side and then go into that wave. So I have to be aware of that. So I start in the center on the line of the skull bone. And that way I can much easier find a way to do the hairs. And I make use of the roundings. And that means also that the hairs here are a little bit longer, but that doesn't matter because it's just the perfect haircut is when you have the skull shapes into your hairstyle and you create something with the beauty of that. Otherwise, the models or the customers have to work very hard to remain the hairstyle in the beautiful fall. And when you cut it the right way, it's much easier to do this. Because you don't have to do anything, just let it dry, push it up with your hands. Coming in the underlines, there you see the turning the other way around, so I can work with a flat knife. Gently leaning on the hairs. like peeling potatoes <laughs> with that with hair gently not to deep in and the other thing what's beautiful about doing hair with a hot tool is they feel really sexy and ultra feminine the hairs because the softness of the hairs is wonderful let's see how wonderful this falls it's totally different than the side yes on this side because here you can still see the heavy weight of the bob and here you see the beautiful thing of a pexy hairstyle. So now I'm gonna work on her right side. First go to the line on top. Take it to the top, go in with the tip of my knife. Connecting the line to the new lines are created on the front. Also on this side she don't like to have naked ears. So take the hairs up once again, turn it, take your fingers in, go from behind and gently lay the hairs where you want, like them to lay. Take a new line on it. Dan gaat je al jongen laten lijken dit. Ja? Zo ja, dat is wel leuk. Dat is grappig. Ja, je ziet het haar wel zo van lengte en dan... Ja, kijk, tegen oude oren kan je niks doen. Nee, maar, weet je, maar tegen oude voelen wel. Oude voelen wel. Dan kijk ja. ik naar mezelf en denk ik... Talking about uh, aging of hairs and models of hairs, yes. and she likes to yeah to feel that young feeling. Yes. So why not? Because you can be for a long time very old. Yeah. And old feeling old is taking longer time because you're more aware of it that you feel old. 
When you're young, time flies by and you don't even notice it. Ja, maar als je ouder bent, ja, dan, wordt dan, dat anders. Is, dan is het heel mooi. Dan voel je je ook nog jong. Ja, als zeker. je dan in de spiegel kijkt, dan zie je de werkelijkheid. Ja. Dan denk je, hm, nee, toch niet. Dus je zoekt naar een kapsel die, waarvan je zegt, yes. Ja. We're talking about in, in Dutch about the mirror, because the mirror never lies. And we're both not the youngest persons anymore. But still, your soul is a young person who's getting more uh, adult, but also stays young because it never aged. So only grows, but not getting older. So Forever young, eh? Yeah, forever young. So when you have that feeling, but you can change it with a little thing like hair yeah. or a soft color on hair, then it's, it's totally different because then you, <laughs> you trick yourself But it makes you feel good, so why not? Yeah. You see, in the meantime, I work only with the tip of my knife. I analyze by the side bits. I do with the scissor because it's the hard with the hot tool. And then I come again on the lines behind the ear. So I pull them to the front on the line of cutting, go in. And gently go down. What in between? Did you get it? Can that work? Yeah. Yeah, heel onder dit kopje. Dat is wel heel leuk, hoor. Dat is echt gaaf. Ik denk dat Claudia ook wel staat te kijken. Ja, dat denk ik ook wel. Ja. Toen ben je ook nieuwsgierig. Ja, leuk. Then I can, can work to that or from that line to that, but I don't do this because I started like I did on this side, on the back, lay the hairs in the natural fall, go watch at the lines, know that I want some volume on this rounding because that's wonderful. So take the hairs up, lay them on the line of cutting, watch over the beautiful lines I just created. And enjoy your work because happiness brings the most wonderful products. Lay them into the line, watch over the line, through the hairs on the line of cutting. Good, till I get on this line and here you see a bending. But now I can see this line of cutting and I can see this line of cutting. So I can work to that. So I take the hairs up, bend to the front, connect it to the line of cutting. Do this only to the first line because now you can see that the fall is changing. So I take a new line on it, go over the roundings of the skull. Love to play with the earrings in between. <laughs> And now with the flatness of my knife, a soft and workout, the contour line. So I create a balance into this line. Standing in the center, working out. For those who think that with a razor like this you can also get rid of the small hairs there, this is not true, this is not possible, because then you would hurt the person. So now you see the wonderful fall of this hairstyle. Going to the other lines. Take a small clipper, lay all the hairs in a natural fold and get rid of the hairs that go in the opposite lines. They always will be disturbing the hairline and when they lay this on it, they get a much nicer line. Sit on this side, lay it to the sides. 
get rid of the hairs that lay in the opposite lines. Lay the hairs back and correct the line. Come to the side beards. Do the same. Take away the upper hairs. Here are the hairs that lay against the fold. They are also a little bit harder because uh, this is a different hair. Then lay the hairs back. And then I correct the line a bit. And it don't have to be a stiff line, so be aware of that because when you create stiffness in it, it's getting a hard line and it's not beautiful to watch. Be aware of the hairs behind the ears. So this comb, for example, has a little finger. You can take the hairs from behind the ears and you see the little hairs that lay behind the ears. Lay them on the line and then they're gone. And do this, of course, on both sides. <laughs> She's turning like hell. <laughs> so take the hairs to the side. Get rid of the small hairs that I don't need. Lay the hairs back. Go in a natural form. Take my little finger on my comb. Pull the hairs to the front. Connect them to that. Lay the hairs on the ears. And give it a fine line. Now for so far the cut. So now I can make uh, the conditioner color. Make photos of that product into the video. So you can see this. Okay, gonna work uh, what I told you with colors. Um, these are the colors. They come in a bag. In the Netherlands they are on the market by Roverhair. But I take a photo of this so you can see them. I first start on top with the lighter color and then in the other lines I mix into the bowl the darker color. You don't have to developer on this, it's pure conditioner on color. You can also apply this, of course, at home. I will use the total top hair on the fall of the skull. And then the underlines to make it a little bit, a little bit darker. The smell of the products is a bit like... Uh, mm, apples. Creamy. Mm, it's, it's a natural, nice. yeah. It's a natural uh, smell. What's on the product? But they're really transparent, of course, and they work the same like a silver conditioner and silver shampoo. But done. Where the call? I myself have also a color of this in my hair. Now I have it on bleached hair, so it takes a little bit more like heavy color. On her natural color, it will be much softer. But, but my, my is purple, but it stays very nicely. So this is the line we are working. But it can, you can do other things with your hair because they come in a lot of colors. But that you can see, of course, by the photo I put into the video. Now the first color was uh, a 23. I put into the same color a 78. It's a dark color. It's a brownish color. And that apply in the underlines. So it will certainly make the hairs look stronger and more stand out. It's a combination of those colors, so a brown color with the same color. Also, of course, it's semi-permanent conditioner color, so it don't, it's a real color. 
but you can work with it and when you have a party very nice to do a, a new thing with your hair or when you have sometimes that feeling I want to do something young do this because this is wonderful you don't have anything to, to be afraid of because you can much easier get it out of the hairs than color and you don't damage the hairs because they glow like hell afterwards beautiful shiny healthy hair this because it's a conditioner this has to stay on the hairs for 50 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out and then I'm back of course for styling now to create a softness into the lines I comb this into each other so I don't have a hard line in the meantime I can control if everywhere I was is conditioner color close up and then we're back in 50 minutes we go for coffee tea and you just stay there because yeah. you don't have to go anywhere have you still coffee or tea? tea graag okay. okay after 50 minutes rinse it out now the hair feels really lovely and smooth I'm going to style the hair using uh, zero weight gel of Lanza. This amount, it's about a teaspoon. This is also a product that smells really nice. Mm. But it's also nursing the hairs. This is a brush through the hairs with the Olivia Garden brush. And I'm gonna blow dry the hairs with a medium light brush. Starting in the front, building up. I don't think I'll see a pale more. Ik ben bij houden thee trouwens. Wat zeg je? Met thee. Ja. Dus als je een sterke thee zet voordat je je haar gaat wassen, ja. dan neem je dat mee in een plastic bekertje. Laat zakken gewoon erin zitten. Dan doe je je haar gewoon wassen. Handen droog maken. Thee eroverheen en de handen droog maken. Niet ja, aan de spoelen. Ja. ja, ja. Dan heb je ook zo'n heel mooi zacht vloedje op je haar. Ja, ja. Ja, nou, maar dat is wel hartstikke leuk als je dat dan nog, als je weer ouder bent, dat je dat, dat nog bestaat. Ja, en dat je dan ook zo iemand uh, deels ziet groeien, deels ja. begeleidt. Ja. Uh, want zij zegt altijd, ik heb van jou leren delen. Ja. En ze zegt, dat vind ik zo fijn dat ik dat kan, zegt ze. Ja. Dat is wel leuk als iemand dat dan uh, ook zo uh, ervaart. Ja, zeker. En zij doet dat ook echt, hè? Zij heeft van die hele bijzondere cursussen waarin je altijd je optimale creativiteit eruit kunt halen. Ja. Ik geef ze les op de universiteit in, uh, in China. Ja. En nu natuurlijk online, want jij ja, komt in China bijna niet in. En ze hebben net een baby gekregen. Dus. Ja. So far, blood run. I'm gonna style it with the spider. It's a product of Glint. 
Ik heb nog steeds die ene fles uh, die ik ooit eens bij jou die, die gebruik ik als ik kort haar heb. Ja, fles van Ja, dat is ook wel lekker hoor. Ja. Ik heb een tijd niet gebruikt met dat lange haar. Mm -hmm. Part is product of Glint. It's a real beautiful styling product. You don't need uh, hairspray when you use this. You can, of course, but I normally do, don't do this. This is Lisa's new hairstyle, soft color, unconditional base. And I thank her for being my mother. Thank you for watching. She will turn around to show you the end result. And we see each other next video. Bye bye. Thank you for you. You're more than welcome, love. Nou, we een rondje draaien. Leuk, ondeugend. Zo, hier is het. Weer een rondje draaien? Ja. Lisa is uh, modeling again. She came at the salon to come for a total new hairstyle. So I asked her to do this as a model because she already modeled for me. She gets a collar that can be rinsed out very easy, but it also lasts for a longer time than normal. So I'm going to show you a new product. I may not <laughs> make it too short, but also she wants to get rid of the longness of this hair. I know this. A lot of you thinking it's wonderful, but she likes to have something else. So I have a free hand in that. Let's start on Lisa.